Jennifer Haley's award-winning The Nether is hitting off Broadway. The play is a crime thriller set in the murky world of virtual reality. We're here in rehearsal to find out more about this mind-bending drama. What is The Nether? The Nether is uh, essentially the future of the internet, which is comprised of uh, virtual realities called realms. So it's imagining that virtual realms are as plentiful as websites and um, trying to think about what people are doing in those realms and the ethics of people's behaviors. Things are happening online in increasingly realistic realms that some people think aren't morally appropriate. You've heard about virtual worlds and you've, and you've heard about people, people spending time in both. We've, we've seen documentaries about it. We've, we, we know people who are doing it. That's, that's the fun part of it. And, and of course the question is, if a crime is committed in a virtual world, did it really happen? It mimics the procedurals that are on television now. It is a play that investigates the future of the internet, although I don't think it's so far into the future the way it's depicted. I feel like I'm approaching it not only as sort of a mystery, sort of whodunit, but also as a love story, a kind of multiple love story. I know because of the mystery aspect of it, people don't want to reveal much, but can you give me a little bit of the meat of the plot? I'm trying to be careful, because I think it's nice that the audience, because it's a mystery, the audience gets, I want them to have the opportunity to experience the ins and outs themselves. So you have the sci-fi aspect but also a kind of thriller detective aspect. Exactly. Like all good detective stories, the detective goes into these worlds and gets emotionally involved and in, in emotionally involved with the person she's tracking and emotionally involved in this virtual world. This sounds like a little bit of a creepy plot. Did it creep you out when you read it? Um, when I first read the script I kind of thought about it and I, th I thought yes it's a little weird but at the same time as putting out that message of these things are real, these things are happening, these things are going to happen, and I think they need to be addressed, and that's part of why I wanted to do this show. It addresses creepiness, for real. It is meant to maybe make, uh, make us unravel what is creepy from what is not creepy. So why did you decide to write this for the stage rather than making it a TV show or a film? It's great to write about virtual reality for the stage. If you do virtual reality on film, film kind of almost is virtual reality, but if you have your characters talking about a world, oh, I went into this virtual realm, and they're on stage and you're in a theater, then you have a whole audience creating that realm in their own heads. So I actually think doing a show about virtual reality is perfect for theater. 